Hello guys, welcome back again. Nowadays, in lot of businesses, having Linux in your PC is a requirement. What should be done if you are a Windows or Mac user, and you have no space for the second operating system on your laptop? Please, don't go to buy a new laptop. Instead, buy one of these. And I will guide you through full steps on how you can properly install Ubuntu on one of those hard drives. So you can use Linux only when you need it. And furthermore, you can use it on any computer. Before we start, we need to get these tools ready. Bootable ESB drive containing Ubuntu ISO file bag on it. If you don't know how to do it, just check this short video. External hard drive on which you want to install Ubuntu. And of course, your own laptop or desktop. I highly recommend that you remove the main hard drive from your computer to ensure that the process runs without problems, otherwise you will face a boot issue. Your main system will not work unless you plug the external hard drive on the computer. That means your new external hard drive will be the first boot or bootloader and from it you can choose what operating system you want to get. There are a lot of tips on how to fix a bootloader. But it's unnecessary to go through such complicating process. Just remove the main hard drive, it's very easy. And get 100% two operating system, each one good for himself. Now we we'll proceed with our mission. Plug in the bootable ESB and the external drive. Turn on your PC. And go to change your boot order and choose boot from your burn ESB that you make before. How to do that? If you are using Linux or Windows, that will depend on your PC manufacturer. Check this list and click several times on your boot key just after you turn on the laptop. If you are a Mac user, press and hold Option and Alt just after you turn on your laptop. Choose the bootable ESB and click Enter. Ubuntu menu will appear. Choose the first option. Now you can try Ubuntu and take a look before you install it. But since you are here, it's obvious that you want to install Ubuntu. Choose language and keyboard layout. Don't connect to Wi-Fi. Just click continue. You can choose normal installation or minimal installation. Choose the second option, erase disk and install Ubuntu and press continue. It will show you the partition that the system created. Click continue. Choose your location. Fill this empty box and click continue. Just wait until the installation finish. Click on Rostar now to reboot the system. He will ask you to remove your portable ESP. Do it and enjoy your Ubuntu. You can now plug your hard drive into any PC. You just need to change the boot order to your drive and use your portable operating system. If you have any problem, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. Just describe your problem with pictures if possible, and I will help you. Bye guys, see you next time.